Hi, welcome back. Another important session, which is very frequent in manufacturing or retail or anywhere you go, service order creation, service order to invoice, we will see. You will have a two different scenarios. Let's try to cover one scenario now. Okay, what exactly the service order will do? Okay, so let's try to go back to the Excel. So if you see this uh, service order, Pro will be like this. So like, uh, for example, assume that where's a, our company is a Dram watch company. Okay. So we have given a service, home service, like, you know, if any watch got repaired. Okay. So if it is in warranty, okay, two years, it is free of cost. Okay. Spare parts and everything. So if it is after two years, your spares and everything on price, okay? Uh, two plus years. If it is two plus years, any years, if you watch got repaired, like whatever the spares or service, it will do like this. So for service engineer, okay, or else service technicians will reach to your home and uh, they will do the watch repair. For that, they will do the charges. So after that, like, you know, it is for one hour, okay? So it might be like, you know, two euros. Okay. So like that, you know, uh, some expenses will be there. If it is more hours, you can able to maintain scales. That is a different story. So for that, what we require. Okay. If you'd like to send for service of the watch, you can able to send your technician. Okay. Techn technician to your customer. Okay. For example, IT104 is there. He bought uh, so many watches, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be get repaired, one of the watch, so that, you know, they have to send the technician to his home, okay? So, this will be created as a service material, okay? So, service material, if, if it is supposed to be some meaningful, like, you know, you can able to uh, create an external partner as a technician, okay? So, and you can able to configure that one also. Let's try to see the service flow. Okay, what it will do, we, your uh, technician come and repair, then they will tell that uh, these many hours done, the price will be calculated and the billing will be done to the customer. If it is two plus year, if it is a two years, it will be always zero. Okay, let's try to check this configuration. So, you can see this. Generally, VF01 and VF01 billing will be there for customer okay once uh, service is done sales order billing so you can able to do this thing also vag roman and vlg roman and vf0 now you got it out why we required uh, like you know billing a delivery also so it depends like uh, certain times if the product will be uh, sent back to your customer such a case the delivery will be like a dummy delivery actually you are not maybe like you know it has a different scenarios so once the goods is reached to your location you can able to uh, take out goods issue to your customer okay uh, that is also there otherwise you can able to create a dummy delivery if it is offline handle delivery related billing also will be done such a cases will be there let's try to see the simple scenario first now you try to understand uh, then we'll try to get back to the the complexity of the requirement let's come here in this scenario i'm just creating one service material okay so maybe industry i'm just taking the retail in industry you can take so i'm just taking this the service for service the material type is dien you remember this not like your regular trading goods or finishing goods or raw material you have different material types it has a service okay if you press enter okay So, what is the material? Okay. Service cost per hour. Okay. For watch repair. Okay. You can take the description like this. Your unit of measurement will be base unit of measurement. Okay. I'm just taking...
I'm just taking this one hover. Okay. Metal group you can take. Let me take this general level. Okay. Come here. So let's put the tax. If it a service also, sometimes if it is taxable, then okay. So let's put it this one. Okay. So maybe like you know, I'm just uh, if we if, if we can able to make uh, make a little complex. Generally, it won't take days if it takes a zoom like. Uh, certain repair actually such a case also it will be calculated okay sales unit maybe if i put day okay let me try to check let me take this okay so, or else why should we make it complex? Let's try to do it. So, sales unit also hovers only. Let me take the division. Watch common division, no problem. So, let's take the plant. Plant will be dummy, there is no use. Your account assignment category. Okay. So we don't have MRP. Okay. Till here sufficient. Let's save this. So accounting tab, accounting one tab you shouldn't select. It depends on the scenario, but generally service materials you don't find accounting one tab. Let me save this. Okay. So now go to VK11. Let's go to PR00. Okay. So let's put the material so drt1 this is for domestic sales and this is again for d1 distributors so let me 151 okay see for one hour two euros if it is you can if you want you can able to maintain the slabs also okay so let's try to save this condition record okay so this is the simple thing like you have to set up the master data okay now how you can able to do this one okay what you have to do is you just you have to do is sales order and billing that's it nothing else right so let me try to check vivo v8 you can use your regular sales order also if you come here now first time you are checking this one what is this order related billing f2 you have to use this okay so what additionally you have to do this let's come to the uh, one second let me try to go to the material i just need to choose item category different okay leas it has chosen let me check sales level also okay it is leas so then we go to vivo v4 okay go to new entries you, it is also always a client requirement. If customer want it different document type, you can able to do it. Okay. So L E I S. Okay. So let's try to choose the item category. It is T A D. Okay. T 
TID for your service. Let's save this. Got it. Now let's come back. Okay. Vivo V5. Okay. Generally, it is service, right? For TAD, it is CD is there. What is this CD? So let's double click. See, this is without delivery. With delivery also, you can uh, able to choose this schedule and category. The delivery will be dummy delivery. No, nothing will be there. No definition. Okay. So this is all about your schedule and category. So uh, let's uh, try to create a service order in next session. Okay. So this is all about the configuration. So let me try to check vivo v7 for your item category definition so let's come here tad double click here you can see this is always order related billing because we don't have delivery even if you something some specific requirement is there we can able to play with this that's why item category and every functionality is very important in sales and distribution okay so there is no cost to determine for service okay and uh, um, for your service also credit is active okay it's like your tan only here uh, delivery related billing will be there in tan then you have uh, cost will be determined because that is a product this is service then you need not determine the cost so it is intangible in nature service means you can uh, perform but you cannot able to show like some product manufacturing product actually so let's try to catch up in next session okay so we'll try to see how the service order flow will be there any issues are there we'll try to fix it thank you very much let's join for next session have a great day uh let me before concluding the session let me i would like to tell one thing so next session we'll catch up for service order transactional process if you see this these are the currently two four three one students are there till today so 3020 enrollments successfully like uh, these are the four plus rated top courses at my side this is the sd course on ecc 70 plus over and sd pricing concepts this is for another uh, 16 lectures this is eight hours these two is sufficient to get almost cover your 95 to 98 percent of sd okay you can see you can able to find more than uh, 60 plus topics in that okay so this will be up, uh, continuously updated no doubt okay whatever the knowledge is in my scope i am a real-time consultant if you can see if you are not yet introduced to s4 hana you can able to go through this course in three scenarios explained for uh, s4 hana simple logistics if you are not yet introduced to cba concept you can able to uh, with confidence you can go through it if you have some doubts in your project permits for rebates you can uh, explore this one and uh, this also will be updated and if you have if you want to know sd integration with fscm this is useful for sd as well as fsco consultants they wanted to know about credit management concepts in s4 hana and if you are a beginner if you are not at introduced functional specification writing that you can able to go through it all these are the different set of courses are there stock transfers and sd processors sd processes in s4 hana okay like that i have so you can uh, so these links i will be providing uh, below of the description of my uh, youtube channel okay which is uh, like uh, so you can able to see the my sd s4 hana coaching or training at your best this is the channel actually you can subscribe it thank you very much have a great day Let's catch up for the second session for transactions.